Hey, what's up? Sixta Yo here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your city icon, uh, kind of to match a little bit more with iOS 7 icons. As uh, the current um, or default icon for Cydia when it's installed uh, just like this uh, looks, well, just like this. Um, for some people, it's just kind of dull and boring, but it's uh, the way it's always, or it always has been. And um, I don't mind it too much personally, but I do also like, uh, you know, the new designs for the, you know, city icons. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like on my red iPhone 5S. Yeah, and uh, this is also the icon I'm going to be putting on this iPhone right here. Now, um, yeah, some people like this one, a lot of people don't, yeah, it's up to you. And uh, you get, actually get a lot to pick from on, uh, on Google. But um, anyway, the method I'm going to be showing you is uh, posted by iDownloadBlog. Um, if you want to go check their website out, I'll have a link for their uh, you know, link to this method in the description below, along with a step-by-step -step guide uh, that's written out if you want to follow that as well. But um, what you will need is, of course, an iOS device that is jailbroken, uh, in this case, an iPhone 5S. And we go ahead and hit Developer. Um, I just uh, freshly restored this iPhone and uh, I jailbroke it, so it hasn't been set up yet. We're going to let it do everything. And uh, you know, once it's done, we're going to do complete upgrade. And then we're going to let it do its thing. Now, um, you will also need an uh, iFile for this, which you can buy for $4. But on the iPhone 5S or any other A7 devices, like the iPad Air or iPad Mini with Retina Display, uh, you cannot buy anything through the City Store. It's just not supported. Um, all that I know of, anyway. So uh, one way around that, you can always do the, uh, you know, the pirated method, which is using Exley's or Insanely Eyes repo, uh, which is just for crack tweaks and you know, themes and stuff like that. It's usually paid. It's all free. So to get that, we're going to go ahead and simply type as follows, cydia.xselize.com and forward slash, and you should see an annotation for this. And so let me modify this because I mistyped that. We're going to do D. Hit E. Why am I doing that? Oh my god. Fuck this up more. Dear fucking Jesus. Okay. Cydia.exleys.com forward slash annotation. Right. Yeah, where's the camera? Where's the camera? Right there. Okay. Add source. You will be prompted to add anyway. Add this source anyway. And it's just warning you that some of the stuff may have been reported piracy or some shit like that. I've, I forget what it says. I haven't read it in a long time. But um, anyway, return to Cydia. After that, we're going to go ahead and go to search and type iFile. What the fuck? Oh, my iTunes is open. Um, you'll see two things under iFile after you add the Xlease repo. I'm going to move my keyboard over so that doesn't happen again. Uh, the one highlighted in blue is the paid version. The uh, one right below it in the uh, little gray question mark box is the cracked version from Exilies. Simply install it and confirm. Let it do its thing. Sorry about that. It's kind of nasty, but whatever. Waiting to install, waiting to, okay, we're done. <laughs> Return to Cydia. Now we can go to Safari. Go on with Safari. Okay. So type in iOS 7. Cydia. Icon. Then the first thing that should come up is the iDownload blog. Uh, post. Go ahead and click on that if uh, you know these are the icons you want to go for. And really, it's just taking a picture and then uh, you know pasting it where the uh, city icon animation is. So you have three to choose from. That's uh, on their post. You have a light brown, a uh, you know kind of lightish red, or a dark brown city icon. We're going to go ahead and do the red one. Simply hold on the uh, image and then save image. 
should be in your photos now. Now this has no photos on it, so it'll be the only one in there. It's right there. Now we're gonna go to iFile. Next, tap home, bar, then scroll down to mobile, media. We're gonna go ahead and do DCIM, 100 Apple. And then it should be right there. Go ahead and tap edit, select. And then you'll see this little icon with the clipboard. Go ahead and tap on that, copy slash link, done. Go back, 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 and back again, and back one more time till you're in the little forward slash or the root. Next, we're gonna go up to applications, Cydia.app, since that's the application that we're changing. Scroll down to where it shows the icon files. And the icon file that we're looking for is icon at 2x.png. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna tap edit, clipboard, and paste. That will paste that, um, that JPG of the uh, CD icon that we're gonna you know, change. Next, go and uh, find that icon at 2x.png. Go ahead and select all, copy. And we're gonna go ahead and rename this. So you can rename it whatever you want as long as it starts with icon. So icon one, two, three, dot PNG. Now, if you don't uh, start off with icon, um, what will end up happening is once you reboot your device or spring it, um, it will go into a constant boot loop and you will have to restore your device via DFU mode. So go ahead and hit done once you did that. Actually, yeah, nah, yeah, it should be fine. Next, go ahead and tap on the blue arrow next to the JPG of the uh, you know, CD icon. Go ahead and select all on the name, paste, and done. Now we can go ahead and reboot the iPhone. Yeah, actually, just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let's see, where is that one, two, three thing? I'm gonna go ahead and rename this uh, really quick. I'm just gonna change that uppercase I to a lowercase I, since that's how it is on my other iPhones and stuff like that. Now we can go ahead and reboot. Once it's rebooted, you are done and you have a pretty full new icon. Good. And this also applies to any other icons that you want to change. And uh, yeah, pretty much. Now, um, if you did uh, mess something up uh, with, which uh, if you did mess up, it would be renaming that uh, little icon folder. Um, it'll go into a constant boot loop, which it's possible it might be doing that now. But then again, uh, my iPhone 5S actually boot looped about three or four times before it actually turned back on. And um, I found out the issue was, uh, you know, I didn't name that little icon folder right. Actually, let's go ahead and check that real quick and see what I actually renamed it. Because I actually might have messed that up too. Oh, hey, there it goes. So you didn't mess it up. So, yeah, you may boop loop a few times, but if you got it right, it will turn back on. But I do highly suggest that you, uh, that you back up your device so you don't lose any of your info. So, let's see. Yeah, it was a lowercase i, so I was right. I was gonna be on the safe side, but now we have a uh, newer looking or uh, a refreshed Cydia icon, and it looks all pretty full of stuff. You can tap on it, and it works exactly the same without any issues. Good. Yeah, um, just uh, one thing to really keep in mind is that uh, when you do this, you're messing with uh, your root files, which the reason why Apple doesn't uh, allow root access is because there is a lot of fucking retards that will fuck up their devices and uh, will do something like a boot loop like uh, I was just, I was just uh, talking about. But um, yeah, with the jailbreak, you can do whatever you want.
Uh, for now, not as much on the iPhone 5S or any A7 device, but uh, you can at least do some stuff. Thanks to iFile and Cydia. But yeah, this is just some of the stuff you can do. Um, there are some other things you can do with like parallax settings and a hidden iOS 7 settings. It's just a little bit harder to do with a no mobile substrate support. And uh, that is also the issue with uh, you know A7 devices that are jailbroken. Which, uh, by the way, um, if you uh, are freshly jailbroken, go ahead and go into Cydia, tap on uh, search and do mobile substrate. Go ahead and install it. Now this won't add anything, any kind of support for it, but it'll at least install it. So when you go into your uh, you know, Cydia app and then hit changes and refresh, uh, if the update's out, then you will see it and you'll get to do stuff. Yay. But um, anyway, other than that, if this video helped you out in any way whatsoever, uh, comment, or subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at 6 Zero. Um, also, do keep in mind that uh, I absolutely, with a passion, hate Google+. So if you add me to your circles or uh, share my video through Google+, I will block you. Now, I do understand that if you leave a comment, even if the uh, little box is deselected, um, I will still get it in my notifications, so I won't block you for that. But if I see you, add me to your circles, follow me on Google+, or share my videos through Google+, you will be blocked. Just a fair warning. But other than that, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 6.0, and see ya.